Hey y'all, welcome back. All right, spring is transitioning into summer and the temperatures are getting hotter. It's time to start clearing out the early spring plants like the cauliflower, the broccoli, all of that, those things and making room for more summer plants, tomatoes, peppers. So today we're going to start that process by going through the greenhouse. We're gonna get rid of some of the more pest eaten plants. Anything that's bolted, I'm gonna pull out and we're gonna see, we're gonna harvest what we can harvest um, and go from there because I'm gonna utilize that space for more tomatoes and more peppers. Come on, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot going on in here right now. I have some plants that I have put in here to harden off. So they're gonna need permanent homes sooner rather than later. The bugs have been eating on them. I did treat them once with seven dust, but that really wasn't enough. I don't think I got to it quickly enough, but I do see some broccoli in here that we can harvest. And some of the cabbages look like they're still doing okay. So I think the first order of business is to just get what I can get. So you can see these yellow flowers here. This is what broccoli looks like when it bolts and it's absolutely lovely. The flowers are edible. They actually they taste pretty good to me. They just taste like broccoli. But when it has started making those flowers, it's pretty much done being broccoli and you just it's, it's time to just go ahead and retire that plant and then I've got some broccoli here some cauliflower down here it's kind of in the same boat it's starting to look really weird and it looks like it's got quite a bit of bugs eating on it too so let's just go ahead and get some of this stuff out of here make some room see what we got and we'll go from there so first things first, I'm going to harvest some broccoli that I know is good. So once you've taken the main head off of some of these broccoli plants, a lot of times they'll put out little side shoots and I think that's what this one's doing. And what will happen to these? The chickens, we'll toss them in for the chickens. As we saw earlier in the garden season, the chickens really like these, so there's no sport in trying to get them out of a garden if we just give them to them, but I think they'll still like them. Even on these plants that I'm not ready to get rid of, I'm gonna go ahead and trim off some of these outer leaves. See if we can get some airflow to the plant. And it'll give us a little more space to see what we're working with. I am going to be careful since I have put seven dust on some of these. I don't really know what it would do to the chickens, but these that have the white powder on it, I'm not going to give those to the chickens just in case it would make them sick. As a general rule, I try to avoid pesticides, especially when there's bees flying. But in a situation like these, this, this is not really a bee pollinated crop so they're not coming in here for the most part and sometimes you just got to do what you got to do if you're going to say have any kind of harvest at all so you can kind of see here this is super duper chewed up by bugs. It's got worm holes and poop and just all kinds of bad stuff going on with this one. So I think that's eggs. We'll just give this whole thing to the chickens. Just toss that whole thing over.
So my experiment of using my experiment of using onions next to them as pest control clearly was not successful because here is another worm. You want to take that whole thing to the chickens? They'll like that worm. Ew. I know. Don't touch the worm. Just hold it down here. No, no. No, no. I don't like. Here, them. Emma. Here's something for them. What is? What is it? It's got a worm on it. Here's a cabbage or a cauliflower. I knew that was there. Actually, a really nice looking cauliflower, except. I really think it's got bugs in it. So, I'm going to go ahead and harvest it. But I'm not going to put it into the same container as the broccoli. And we have managed to get a couple of heads of cabbage, or a couple of heads of cauliflower. They've been delicious. We've eaten broccoli for dinner a couple of, with dinner a couple of times. So I'm not, I'm not completely disappointed. Could our harvest have been better? Absolutely. Has it been worse? Absolutely. So I'm just gonna pick out, so the, like this small one here, I'm gonna go ahead and take it, even though it's really small, because it looks like it's, pretty, it's still in pretty good shape. So we'll just see if we can eat that one. That other one that I picked, I'm thinking it's going to be a no-go. But I'll soak it in salt water for a few minutes and see, see what comes out of it. taken me a few days but I'm finally back out here in the greenhouse I'm gonna get some peppers planted in the spaces that I've cleared out I found several more hatch chilies that I want to plant and I want to plant quite a few bell peppers because that's something we use a lot of and I would like to not have to buy it at the store so right now I'm just digging some holes and then I will get my peppers planted I think I've got room for probably six or eight out here I don't want to get them too close together. I want to give them plenty of room, but I did clear out quite a bit of space. I had a couple of cauliflower plants that still looked pretty good, so I left them in this space. And then I've got some cabbages that still look pretty good and a few broccoli plants that still look pretty good that we're going to let keep going for a little bit. For now though, we're going to get these peppers planted. Peppers are another plant that you can plant pretty deep, so I'm going to dig these holes quite deep because some of my peppers are a little bit leggy. Mama, huh? um, um, I want to get the one to turkey. Okay, if I find another one, you can have it. Um, this has white in it. What does? Yeah? yeah? That's okay. I This is one of my hatch chilies. I didn't plant very many of them. I love the flavor of them and I like that they're not super hot. We're gonna put that back there. This is a bell pepper. It looks like I've got a two for here. These seeds were a little bit older and they took a while to come up. So I think I wound up with things like these two. So I'll just put this little guy right there this one here any of these diseased leaves I'm just gonna snap off and the little leaves down by the dirt line I'm gonna snap those off 
because I'm going to plant them pretty deep like I did the tomatoes. Give them a good solid foundation. Here's another hatch. This little guy into this hole. I'm gonna dig it a little bit deeper. As you can see, this guy's pretty tall. Same thing, these little leaves down here at the bottom. I'm just gonna snap those off because I want to plant it pretty deep. There we go. Okay, so there's some more pepper plants planted. And garden planting season kind of just goes that way. As I get the space cleared out from the early spring garden, I'll keep filling up these garden beds with things like the peppers and the tomatoes that I have left over. If you like this kind of thing, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.